Welcome back to Bordeaux Life. After months of really hard, long days, both at the build and at the passion project, we're really happy to tell you that we're finally open for business at the passion project. Let's go inside and show you our final layout and where all of those beautiful antiques that you saw us buying at auction and a lot more that you've not seen so far. Let's go inside and show you how everything's looking now. So this was a huge expense that we really didn't want to uh, spend unless we knew we were keeping the place. But as soon as we knew we were going to do Airbnb, we knew that we had to have this barrier for us. We didn't want barriers around the pool, segregating it from the house. We wanted that, it's really not what we were going for in the way of uh, feels. So we wanted that kind of open feel. Um, so our only real option was to have this automatic uh, pool barrier. Uh, basically, it actually rolls back. Once it's all rolled back up, it rolls back here and then it leaves you the space around the pool. Let's go and have a look inside. Come on in, but before we go inside, if you do like the look of this place, you think, oh, I'd like a holiday there, link's gonna be in the description for our kind of advert on Airbnb. Come on in. I know there was quite a bit of discussion um, about why we're having chairs in the hall, but we tried and tested it, and actually these chairs are really comfy and really useful to have in the hall. Um, so of course these we got at the antique fair um, in Bordeaux Centre. This commode we got at the local uh, auction. Again, you've seen these, but there's something amazing that, oh, hold on, before I go any further, this was the 100, no, 150 euro 150 mirror. Euro mirror. But there's something amazing that you guys have not seen. It was probably our best buy in a long time. Maybe ever. Yeah. Let's switch positions. It's the beautiful armoire. It's massive. That's why I'm stood next to it. But uh, <laughs> to show you the height, uh, we said we wanted one in here to kind of give it a bit of presence when you came in to feel, yeah, we're actually in somewhere important here. They've got a big armoire. Um, it's mahogany, I think. Uh, whatever wood it is, I absolutely adore it. And I'd say five to ten years ago, you'd have been talking three thousand euros for it. A couple of years ago, you'd have been talking a thousand euros for it. I want you guys to put in the description how much you think we paid for this. Um, you will be shocked, but. That's just giving you away a little bit of a clue there. But um, it was, like I say, one of our best buys. Definitely. So we've got a couple of paintings here that we have had for a while. This is the painting we got at Portets at the local auction again when we got the commode and Louis was with me. Um, I looked up the, um, the painter, the artist, and uh, not particularly well known, but done some, some art and uh, looking at the others that she's done, I think this is one of her best pieces. 
It's very nice. It's it's kind of rich and it gives that richness richness to the room. It Let's does. go in the dining room maybe next. Sounds good. We're missing the Napoleon III furniture in here. And it's actually gone in here and it's looking so much better in here. So we've gone for a monk's table and we've just got some chairs for the time being. We are still looking for some more chairs, um, but these are just kind of doing for the time being. And yeah, we've, we've got the two, um, the two uh, Napoleon III pieces in here, along with the black mantle piece that we got at, at the auction with Louis. So these are the man this is the mantle set that you weren't that keen on, I don't think, Anna. And we well, I was for the right price. Well, it was, was it? the right price, wasn't it? That's why we got it. Yeah. Um, and there was also this piece here that we got from Arcachon, mm -hmm. the sale room at Arcachon, when we got the other Napoleon three pieces up in the bedroom, actually. So, yeah, that's found its little spot. This is a mirror that you actually didn't see us get. Um, we, we got that in, a, in the same auction as the uh, armoire. How much did we end up paying for that? Was it 80 euros, that one, Anna? Uh, possibly, plus the fees. Yeah, I think it worked out 100 euros. So, amazing buy. It's not perfect. There are little defects on it, but that's fine. It looks perfect for here. And I think this room really looks good now. There are two other pieces I wanted to talk about in this room, though. And we've had them in stock for a long time. We went picking at a antique dealers uh, kind of yard in Arcachon, so near the auction house, and we kind of wrestled them out of his hand. They weren't particularly expensive, but they were two pieces, completely different pieces, but really nice piece, really nice artwork, so we'll show those. So this is an original artwork. Beautiful flowers, Ed. Mm. Before we go through into the salon, I think I want to show you something in the kitchen. We haven't really changed much in the kitchen, have we, Anna? No. So yeah, I've got something to show you in here, but it's down this bottom end. Hello. Hello, little kitty. Hello, little cuties. So yeah, it's half term, and so the kids are off with us. And they're helping us tidy up and get the place ready. That's one way to say it. <laughs> um, I remember a few people getting confused because there was no fridge in here. Well, there was no fridge because we were going to sell it at the time. But now we're renting out. We've got ourselves a nice little American, what the French call American fridge. For the Americans, it's just a fridge. Yes. No, but basically it means there's ice and water in the fridge. Um, and then, of course, all the utensils. We've been going through and through and through, getting all these little bits that you just don't think you need until you need them. Definitely. Well, let's go through onto the other side. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and ding that bell. <laughs> Let's go through here, get a bit of peace and quiet. Beautiful. So the set that I didn't really want to go for uh, worked out really well. Uh, this was in Portet's one with Louis again, wasn't it? We seem to have bought a lot of stuff from that sale. We did, because a lot of it was a good price. Yeah, this uh, rug from Pakistan as well, hand-knitted, hand unbelievable price. This little table here, we bid on Intershare. So it was in Bordeaux in a, a sale. We didn't have time to go, did we? No. And I got it thinking, oh, it'll be good for one of the bedrooms because we were missing a little table. I had my list. And then when we, we actually got it, we were like, wow, this is amazing, this table. It was a bit bigger than we thought, and it has these little kind of side tables. Yeah, it's very cute. So it's really good. It's really a good size for this amount of people, I think. Fireplace is looking great mix of 
um, old and contemporary. And then we've got those two chandeliers that we got from the uh, antique fair in Bordeaux. With the uh, matching, almost matching, we'll say, um, uh, mirror yeah. with the two huge mirrors. It's got the little kind of flames in the urns up top. Um, that's pretty much all that goes with the other mirrors. But it does, it goes really well in this, this uh, room. All the mirrors now we've hung on the wall properly rather than just leaning them against. Again, we weren't gonna keep, keep the place so we didn't want to put holes in unless we had to. And now that we're renting out, we've attached all the mirrors as such. Got lots of little bits of artwork dotted around. I do love a flower painting, don't I? Mm -hmm. So this is the desk we got in Arkashon as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this we've had a while, haven't we? Yes. These, no, we, we got a pair of these. They're not in amazing condition. We'll say that they've got quite a, well, I almost touched the wrong spot then. Uh, they've got quite a bit of patina, um, we'll say but it's all kind of worn off a bit, but they look the part and... Uh, they look really good. Yeah. So this used to be in the dining room. We bought it in here and it works better in here. We thought it'd be really nice to have this, this old kind of print of Bordeaux, the um, Parliament building in Bordeaux. And then a couple of paintings that we've had in stock for a while. They were here for a while and we had to go through them. They so were, we'll, yes. We'll send them back. We're not going to be using them because we're not going to be using it for the dressing. But then in the end, of course, we do need them. So Things change. Yeah. I've made a bit of a mess through here, Anna. Oh, no. We just got it ready, Ed. I know. I'll well, come through. What have you done? There was a piece, you've probably even forgotten about it, it was a piece that we couldn't let go cheap, I think it was 100 euros, and we thought, you know what, that's perfect for the extension at Villeneuve. Come through, see, show you. So we got a French billiard table in auction. <laughs> I forget about this, but yes, I remember saying, yes, go, go for it. I did look up about this. Um, let's have a look. I looked online and I think, I think you can change it to American billiards. What it's do people think? Do we keep no. it? Do we keep it French billiard or American billiards? I, I think it's quite nice to have the French billiard. I'll have to try and get some translations of the rules. Well, I didn't know there were different ones. Very beautiful writing there, and My God, Anna, I've just found something. You're not going to believe this. It's the original bill of sales from 1998. Oh. And would you like to know how much this billiard, French billiard table costs that can be converted? Yes. It tells you here all the different possibilities that can be converted. Well, after the remise confidential, so a confidential um, discount, discount 55,500 francs. Fra oh yes, it was still in francs. And I just looked on the phone. You're not gonna believe how much somebody paid in 1998, not now, nearly 30 years on, mm -hmm. we'll say 25 years on. 8,500 euros this cost. Wow, new. my goodness. Well, it looks in it's, a really good condition. It's unfortunately gone out of fashion in between times. Not many people have the room for these. And so we ended up paying 100 euros, didn't we? Yes. Now, oh, plus the commissions. We, we, in with that, we didn't know about, we got four cues, this lovely kind of cue holder and rules and, mm -hmm. and scorer. Points, nice. Um, we still, we still have the felt, which needs to go back on. That's why. Oh, I'm... okay. Now I see why you haven't put it together yet. Yeah, it needs stapling on. Now somebody's ripped some of the edge here, but it doesn't matter because all that's covered. Um, you've got the balls, obviously, and then this. What is that? It's kind of just like a cover, so it then turns into something really useful. It's like a table, but not a dining table. Maybe a oh. cards table, you know. Oh yeah. Nice. 
Louis said he's rented a place, a big place before, with a big group of his friends. But anyway, oh, they'd have too much fun. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. This is, this kind of turns into a table. Um, okay, we've got dining tables outside, dining tables over there. It does not necessarily for dining, but you know, useful. In this room, we've kind of mixed things up again, and we think we've come up with the kind of final layout. We've got a TV, and no, like the kind of hardcore arch architectural guys will be like, oh, a TV. But you know, people come well, on holiday. Have one. They want to watch TV, especially kids when they're on holiday, it just gives them a bit of downtime. So we set up that area there for, with a carpet or a little rug to watch TV. And then these other kind of sitting areas. So people can mess around with the chairs as they like, as we keep doing, to be fair. Through here, we've still got a fridge, that, exactly the same fridge as the, uh, as the kitchen that's being delivered tomorrow. So another American fridge. And uh, through in the changing room, not much has changed, but we do now have uh, some hooks on the back of the door. We're gonna put some more hooks behind this little kind of uh, seat that we've put in there. So a changing seat, you know. You're demonstrating where they'll go. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we've got three of those and uh, this bench. Just so that when, you know, somebody comes over, you know, and you don't want to go them going up in your bedroom, they can sit here and get changed and have the shower and whatnot here. Yeah. Let's go have a look upstairs. Well, we'll poke our head in the um, cinema room, but nothing's changed in there still. No. And then we'll go and have a look at the final layout of the bedrooms. This is where the kids spend their time when they come to Vilna, isn't it? <laughs> yes. For those of you that haven't seen a tour of this place before, that was the uh, cinema room that the kids were in. Let's go up. Let's come down this corridor first where we've got something off Alex. Uh, he's from Bordeaux uh, Antique Fair again. So we've got these little prints of uh, Prix de Dan de Hermes, who's like a show jumping uh, prize, I think. Yes. So we've got all these different little artworks and uh, it worked out really cheap. To be honest, I think they were about the same price as the frames, weren't they? Yeah. So this has probably had the biggest change since we last showed you guys. This bed we picked up off the Bon Quang. Uh, worked on it quite a bit, to be honest, to get it right, and now it's it's perfect. The, the pair of chairs were ones that, again, that we got from Arcachon um, anti uh, Antique Auction, and then the commode behind you as well. That was your purchase, Anna. Yes, it was. Again, not much changed in here, but a uh, nice clean bathroom. And Oh. And I a know. bit of. I know what changed. So if you're not an exhibitionist and you don't want everybody in the square to see you having a shower, you popped a little blind. <laughs> but you don't have to. You don't have to, no, it's optional. Look at that view. So you could look at the church whilst having your shower brushing your teeth. Yeah, it's getting a little bit dark because we've been uh, working so much today, but uh, Beautiful to see the church lit up. Let's carry on. Let's go down into this cute little bedroom here that's now finished too. Adorable. Yeah, we changed it around a little bit in here, didn't we? Yeah. 
for, I think for the better, no? Yeah, and uh, this was actually our armoire from our house. It's one that we've had for a while that we absolutely love. And we were struggling finding anything decent at that kind of height because it is quite low. So we're just going to put a little bar in there for uh, clothes. Got some paintings on the wall and the chair got moved across to the other side of the room. Yeah. The prettiest of them all. I know. Louis is not around anyway, so. There's I was talking to about. Against. <laughs> I was talking about the bedroom, but yeah. Yeah, we're. Uh, I remember having like discussions about first of all about that mirror, and then uh, just about in general how we were going to do with this room. It's so, like I say, it's such an odd room. It, it it works itself really well to have the bed in between the two windows. And there is one thing in this room that I really need to change, and this this is it: the light. Basically, we've got an old chandelier. Um, it's quite big, but there's no really huge age to it. It just needs. Louis here to give me a hand to get it on because it's really heavy and uh, I'd probably hurt my back if I actually tried to get it on on my own. We've got the hook in ready for it because it's really heavy, really like 60 kilos I think, something silly wow. like that. Yeah, apart from that everything's there. We've got this little tapestry to kind of just put a hook in the wall and I've been trying to get onto it all day but uh, that's just going above here. Yeah, just very a, nice. Yeah. Uh, we've tried to get rugs in most rooms um, and, you know, it's, it's not easy to find rugs. Well, big sizes at a decent price. Uh, yeah, they, they all start getting very expensive very quickly when they get big. You're admiring that beautiful cabinet, aren't you? Uh, yeah, um, I, as we've been looking at a lot of auctions, I've seen loads come up and they've not been in great condition. And they've been going for a lot more than what we paid for that. We paid like 400. Mm -hmm. um, it is fairly simple, but it's beautifully done. It's kind of curved and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with it, which I really like about it because all of these have something wrong with them. They do. Uh, our two downstairs, we're gonna slowly, you know, send one off to be repaired then send the other one off to be repaired and they'll come back looking like this, but this is ready to go, so. Yeah, I am really happy with that. It's stunning. I've lost Ed. Well, yeah, I'm just admiring the bath, to be fair. Uh, again, we've got the optional uh, privacy blind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything's been tested again. We've been through everything with a fine tooth comb, testing all of the toilets, wash basins, baths, showers, everything. Yes. Let's go through to penultimate room. This is becoming a night tour. <laughs> well, it takes a long time. Yeah. So, again, got a carpet in here. So that was just a tapestry that we had at home. It is. And it fits perfectly there. Yeah. I don't think we showed this bed in place, did we, Anna? No, we didn't. So, yeah, before it was kind of a turquoisey blue bed. And, um, yeah, I just think this one goes so much better. It does. It's got lovely little tapestries on it. And uh, just goes re really well with this room. Get through to the last bedroom then, Anna. So, last room. The Trumo. Yeah, the Trumo from the last uh, auction with Louis again. Yeah, we just felt like this actually fitted a little bit better in the room than, than the last mirror we had here. So there's 12 de Jouy curtains that we got from the Bordeaux Antique Fair. Um, I think that goes really well with the blue chairs. It kind of all just ties in nicely. 
um, again with a few a few painted paintings dotted around the walls so yeah really happy again and the beautiful bed oh yeah that was another bong kwan by wasn't it it's, i think it's uh, is it napoleon three again yes um again needed a bit of work and it's all sorted now and uh and ready to be slept in very very nice and charles chose the cushion mm. i love the detail on the bed you have stabbed there well yeah and i was going to just say that we're really lucky because what we need is brown furniture and brown furniture isn't in fashion at the moment so everything that we're kind of going for we're getting at great value prices Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget, ring that bell. Then you'll know when our next vlog's out. See you all next time.